Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. It is Classics Week. I've already uh, reviewed Dracula. Tomorrow you will be getting uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Thursday you will be getting The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. On Friday I'll be doing my top five favorite classic horror novels, which this book will be included. Um, when I say classics, I mean at least I don't know, probably 60 years is the earliest I would consider a classic. Um, if you guys feel different, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But today we are talking about Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, this is not the 1818 text. I couldn't get my hands on it in enough time before uh, I was starting my books that I planned to read for uh, 31 Days of Halloween. Um, but this one I enjoyed immensely. Uh, TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch, um, I'm giving it five stars. Uh, I, for the longest time, I couldn't get past the opening. I couldn't get past the old writing. I've been reading a lot more eclectically, um, a lot of older stuff or modern stuff written in old time English, old English, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I find myself not disliking it anymore. Um, I'm not a huge fan, as I've said uh, in my review of Dracula, and I will say tomorrow in my review of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, um, but this one didn't bother me whatsoever. I also hopped back and forth between the audiobook on, on Scribd. If you want a free month of Scribd, uh, you get a free month, I get a free month, or my kids, I'm not sure which link I, I have down there, but down there in the doobly-doo, if you click on that, you get a free month, I get a free month, or my kids get a free month, and everybody's happy, there's no obligation to keep it, they're not sponsoring this, this is a trade-off, you get a free month, I get a free month. Anyways, um, George Guidel, who did the Dark Tower series after Frank Muller passed, uh, narrates this one. He does a fantastic job, I especially like his, uh, his... Uh, voice for the monster. Um, I was blown away entirely uh, that this has absolutely nothing to do with the old Universal film, um, the old one with uh, Boris Karloff as the as Frankenstein's monster. Um, I was very very pleased to find so much character development in here regarding Victor, regarding the creature, regarding e everyone that I cared to know about in the book. Um, that's my number one thing for this book is the character work. I absolutely loved it. Um, three things I look for in a, let me get this, three things I look for in any horror novel's character pacing and dread. Um, the pacing was fantastic because I thought I knew this story. I had no idea um, how different it was from the source material. No one ever told me how much they, they changed, which is damn near all of it. Um, so spoiler alert, uh, there is no castle. There is no uh, grand, uh, it's alive! There's none of that stuff. It is a very subtle horror story about this man who creates life. Um, the Bride of Frankenstein is even hinted at at one time. Um, he goes down that course thinking about giving the creature uh, a, a significant other so that he may have someone with him. Um, they, I, I loved the... I love that there was no one really safe in this book and that it didn't turn out all right for anybody, really. Um, I really felt bad for poor Elizabeth. Um, I have not seen the Universal movie all the way through, so I'm not sure if Elizabeth dies in the movie. Um, but there's no windmill. Uh, there is a lot of stuff uh, in, I think it's the Arctic, Antar I, I don't know, um, that there's a, there's a ship stuck on the ice. I also have not seen the Francis Ford Coppola uh, uh, De Niro Frankenstein either. Um, let me know down there in the doobly-doo if you've seen it, if you recommend it, if it's closer to the book, whatever. Um, but I love this book. Loved everything about it. Um, I especially loved how the creature warred with, uh, with his, his nature. Um, and I, I really loved how Victor was so torn apart and distraught after all of these killings and what he had created and you know, playing God and all that stuff that comes with that. Absolutely fantastic book. Loved the way it was written, even though it's written in a style that I normally don't care too much about. Um, but I suggest if, you've, if you're like me and you're someone who keeps picking this book up or has never picked this book up, Give it, give it a chance. Get, you know, go, get all the way to the end. I think you will find something here that you enjoy. 
Um, but yeah, this is easily one of my favorite classic horror novels of all time now. Um, let me know down there in the doobly-doo what your favorite classics are. Um, I know this one, my friend Tyler, this is uh, their, their favorite. So, um, but I would love to know from the rest of you guys, you know, who, who you really like, what authors you like, what books you like, so on and so forth. Um, also, let me know if you read Frankenstein for yourself. Let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!